So the next steps, um, for Thursday, okay, I want you to read the first half of Lady Susan, okay? These are letters one through 22. There's a serviceable text on Project Gutenberg, which I've linked to from here. And there's another good one on Wikisource. Um, the one on Wikisource uh, gives you just each individual letter. Um, so rather than one giant text full of the whole book, uh, it gives you letter by letter. Uh, and it's also got um, uh, readings of each letter um, uh, attached to it. So you can listen as you read along, which might be pretty helpful for you. Um, let me see if I can show you real quick. So the goal is for you to read the first 22 novels, sorry, 22 letters, okay, of um, Lady Susan, okay? So these are the first 22 letters. And uh, you can see here, um, here's letter one, and there is a, um, an audio file that you can uh, use to listen along. Lady Susan by Jane Austen, section one. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Lady Susan, read by Kristen Hughes. Mrs. Vernon, read by Rachel Ellen. Mr. DeCourcy, read by Patrick Beverly. One. Lady Susan Vernon to Mr. Vernon. Langford, December. My dear brother, I can no longer refuse myself the pleasure of profiting by your kind invitation, when last we parted, of spending some weeks with you at Churchill, and therefore, if quite convenient to you and Mrs. Vernon to receive me at present, I shall hope within a few days to be introduced to a sister whom I have so long desired to be acquainted with. Okay, so you get the you get the picture. Um, this is a LibriVox recording, so you will hear that opening uh, intro on every single one of the the readings. Um, it's a little annoying. It's not that in interesting, um, but uh, but it's it's accessible and very easy to do uh, to read while you listen um, on this on this site. So. Um, Read the first half of Lady Susan, letters one through 22, and then I'm gonna ask you to take notes on it. And I'm gonna ask you to take notes in a very particular way because this is gonna help us with our next project. Okay? As you read, what I'd like you to do is this. Create a Google Doc for yourself in our shared drive in the folder called Austin Notes. Okay? Give it a title that has your, your name on it. In your doc, what I'd like you to do is to note down all the words or phrases that you think have a particular 18th century significance or that you want to learn more about or that you think are important to the story. Just keep a list, okay? Look up any unfamiliar words in the Oxford English Dictionary and then copy paste the relevant definition next to the word. And I would like you to use the OED, okay? The link to it is right here. Um, so for instance, in letter one, the phrase, quote, led them too much into society uh, and the idea of the governess are two places that I would list, okay? So I've created a sample document here that I'll show you. Here are my notes, okay? Um, so you can see um, letter one, right? Here's uh, one aspect, one sort of phrase from letter one that I think is interesting that I might wanna learn a little bit more about. I looked up society in the OED and I found this definition definition 7D that actually is um, very ap appropriate to go into society, uh, to go and mix in society as opposed to remaining in one's own home or domestic circle. Okay, now chiefly historical. So people don't really use it in this way anymore. It's a very 18th century way of speaking. And I wrote down governess because that's also a, a, an important um, thing that I'd probably want to have more information about. In letter two, um, this line, only four months a widow, I was kind of interested in. I was like, oh, what, you know, what does that mean um, in history, right? And during the time Austin was writing. Uh, and then this line, the advantage of my daughter, I was really interested in the word advantage. So I looked that up in the OED and I found a phrase, the first phrase, uh, since B, to 
something a person's advantage. Um, so it means to be beneficial, profitable, or advantageous for a person. And this might, I thought, tie to sense 3B a little bit earlier in the OED, um, which is uh, also current in the 18th century. It means profit, gain, interest on money lent. Right. So I thought that was kind of interesting, given that Lady Susan is really interested in her daughter's financial um, future, uh, particularly as it pertains to marriage. So um, I went a little overboard with this one. Right. Um, and you don't have to do two for each book. Right. Or sorry, for each letter. Um, but I do want you to try to be as complete as possible. OK, because we're going to be mining this later for um, our annotations okay, and finding things that we want to research and look more deeply into. OK. All right. Um, so these, this is how I want you to take notes. Okay. I am actually going to collect those notes on, uh, Thursday, not this Thursday, but next Thursday. So I'm going to ask you to submit it to me, submit the Google doc link to me through canvas. Okay. So that I have your notes formally submitted. Okay. Um, the Oxford English dictionary is here. You can also access it, of course, through the library databases. It's a dictionary, so you should be able to find out where to put that. Um, society. And this is what's interesting about the OED is that it gives you lots of definitions, okay? Um, and so I scrolled through these and I found that one, um, which was, where was it? all of these different sort of versions. Here it is. Um, to go into society, right? To go and mix in society as opposed to remaining in one's own home or domestic circle, right? To appear regularly at private or public attainment, entertainments, parties, etc. And this is the sense in which it seems to me um, Austin is intending it when she has Lady Susan use it in that letter. So, um, so I thought that was kind of interesting and I wrote it down in my notes, okay? So um, I'd like you to start reading, start taking notes, okay? By Thursday, please respond to a discussion board post um, and reply to at least three peers' responses. And then also by Thursday, I'd like you to identify um, pairs or groups of two. This is the team that you're gonna be working with for the final project, okay? So sign up here by Thursday. Um, just identify a person, um, touch base with that person, uh, someone you feel comfortable asking questions of and being in touch with electronically. Um, just write your names down here. If you're gonna be group one, um, um, Joe and Leslie, okay? You would just type Joe and Leslie, okay? Um, that's all you need to do. And uh, in the meantime, Happy reading, Lady Susan. I think you'll really enjoy it. And uh, just let me know if you have any questions, okay? Thank you.